Lisa is here today with us, so let's get right into it. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. So, Lisa, growing up, did you know who your dad's associates were? I didn't know my father's line of work until um, many years later, until I was an adult, actually 30 years old. I thought all these people that we, I had grown up with and his business associates, <laughs> like Benny Eggs Mangano and Johnny Sausage Barbado <laughs> and uh, Sally Boxcars and Joey Carpets, they were all friends. It was years later that I learned his role was as a money man for the Genovese five family. So when you learn that your dad had involved you in his business dealings, how did you feel? When I received the subpoena to appear before a grand jury, I was in a terrible state. Oh, I can understand that. And Dr. Judy, I mean, what Lisa's describing, I mean, she got blindsided. It literally knocked the wind out of her, this, this surprise. She had no idea this was going on, and it put into what she, she herself describes as a, a catatonic state. So describe, Dr. Judy, what exactly she was going through. Well, Lisa, first of all, you were in an enmeshed relationship with your family. And when people grow up in enmeshed families, there's a level of control where parents, they attempt to know and control your thoughts and feelings. They may guilt you into doing things and keeping secrets. They want you to provide emotional support and tell you their problems and then make you feel bad about them. So when you were going in to testify, getting ready for all of this, I mean, that, the, the weight was still on your shoulders. I mean, not only could you actually get in huge legal trouble, I think at the same time you were carrying the burden of what can I do to protect my family and my parents? And that is the very unfair position to put you in. You had hit it exactly, doctor. We had, since I was a child, I was, we were all involved and meshed in a very codependent relationship. And uh, that has frustrated me my whole life until, you know, recently with the book and uh, being able to come out of my, uh, the codependent relationships and be able to take care of me for really the first time in my life. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. About the market, panicked about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.